Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Tacticam 5.0. But before we do that, do us a huge favor, click that subscribe button right there, click that notification bell. Also, please, if you have one of these cameras, comment below, let everybody know what you think about it. All of that just helps us out. Share the video with your friends, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate all of that. Okay, let's get into this camera. The Tacticam 5.0 is the newest action camera by Tacticam. We got this a few weeks ago. We strapped it to our shotguns during turkey season, and so we were able to use it quite a bit, and we wanted to tell you what we thought about it. If you want to know some tips about setup, uh, other tips and tricks that we learned while we were using it, then next week we're going to post that video. It's going to go live or just check in the uh, description below and that video will be there if it's already live. As always on review this thing, we want to cover the facts. The first part is fit. The first thing I want to talk about with fit is just the size of the camera. It's about four inches long, give or take, and about an inch and a quarter in diameter. It wasn't terribly larger than my Remington 870 20 gauge that I turkey hunt with. So it wasn't like it just took up a whole lot of extra room sticking out bigger than the barrel. The other thing with fit is how are you gonna mount this? One of the ways we use this camera was I mounted it directly to the barrel of my shotgun using one of the Tacticam mounts. It worked pretty well that way. The only thing I didn't like about it was I have pretty short arms. So to reach the controls, I had to reach way far out to get to them. The other way we had it mounted was with the Tacticam FTS or film through scope system. And we're going to do a complete review of that also. So just check back also subscribe so you don't miss it. So just know they do have several ways to mount it. Now, none of those mounts come with the camera when you purchase it, but there are plenty of ways that you can mount it. Overall, we found it pretty easy to mount. We'll talk about some tips and some tricks with mounting it with the FTS system when we do that video. But Pretty easy to mount, not a huge camera, not super big. So fit wise, uh, we're gonna have to give it a, a really good score. So for fit, we're gonna give it a five out of five. Now is the Tacticam 5.0 as advertised. One of the things that they advertise is that it has a better zoom than any other hunting camera that people are using. The camera does have three settings. It has a 1x setting, an 8x zoom, and then a slow motion zoom. You can't really adjust between 1 and 1x and 8x, but it, it does have that 8x available versus, you know, kind of that wide fisheye look that other um, point of view or, or action cameras have out there. The Tacticam also advertises 4K resolution for videos. The couple of videos we filmed in that, especially when there was really good light, we had some, some great quality videos. The ADEX zoom has a different default setting, so that's not in 4K. And so we just left it in the defaults to see what it got. You can see when it zoomed out, if there's a ton of light, like if you're in a really, uh, in an open field or there's a good amount of sunlight, then it's still gonna have crystal clear, beautiful footage. If it's early morning, so it's darker, or you're in a full canopy of the woods, then the, clip, the picture, especially zoomed out, just like any other camera, is not gonna let as much light in. So it's not gonna be as clear. You can see this video, this deer walked by at about 15 feet away. This was um, not super early morning, but early morning, full canopy now, the zoomed in 8X setting and that light, you can see that it is a little bit grainy, but still great footage. And this video, my husband is filming here. I was a little bit away from him. This is probably the best video that we got. Uh, you can see there won't be any recoil because I was the one shooting and my husband had the camera on his gun. Unfortunately, we didn't have any footage of an actual kill from the gun, so we don't have any recoil shots because every time we went hunting and killed a turkey, the person who had the camera on their gun wasn't the one who killed the turkey. It's also advertised to have a more realistic view than some other action cameras. I definitely like that this is just a 1X. It's not the wide angle. Tacticam does make a wide camera. So if you want to be able to get those kind of facing you shots where you're going to be able to see everything up close, they have that option. But I, when I'm filming action, I definitely like that it isn't really wide and everything looks far away, that like fisheye look. So that is one thing that's pretty cool. It's also advertised to have two and a half hours of battery life. I can honestly say we never tested that out because we would turn it on and then whenever nothing was happening, we would turn it off. So we never let it run all the way down. The overall is the Tacticam 5.0 as advertised. It does provide great point of view of images. It doesn't have that wide fisheye look. You can zoom in really close compared to other cameras. The only thing that I'm gonna take a little bit of points off for is the clarity of the image, either in that full canopy when there's not a great amount of sunlight or in that zoomed mode which you're gonna get that with any camera, but because of that, I'm gonna give is the Tacticam as advertised a 4.5 out of five. 
Okay, now on to construction and durability. So the first thing I want to talk about with construction is just this back cap. Um, the way that you have to take this thing off, and we had a little bit of trouble with this at first, is you have to take the little plastic piece there and you have to slide it all the way up until it clicks. And then once it's unlocked, then you take the bottom piece and you can see it's locked and you want to turn it to the unlocked position. Now we've opened this several times now, so it's quite a bit easier, but at first we had quite a bit of difficulty being able to just grab just that piece and twist it so that it comes loose. One thing with construction that I have a little bit of trouble with is um, I'm getting to that age where when things are small, you can't get closer and see them better. So that it may be beneficial if those images were just a little bit larger for those of us that, um, you know, maybe don't have 20 year old eyes anymore. Now moving up the back of the camera, you can see this tiny little hole right there is the microphone. It's not crazy sensitive. We had some, some footage where there was a turkey just hammering and you can sort of hear it, but it isn't near as loud as even it was for us hearing it. This button is the one touch power and record slash pause button. So to turn it on and to record, you just hit that button. And as soon as you hit that button, it'll come on and it'll vibrate so you know it's on. And then it also starts flashing, which shows you that it's recording, which I think is pretty cool because whenever it's in the moment, you just hit the one button. You don't have to wait for it to turn on and then record it. So it's just already going. If you're ready to pause recording, then you just hit that button one time. It'll vibrate, let you know it's paused and you're good. Now, if it stays paused for, I think three minutes, then it automatically shuts off. It'll vibrate and tell you, which again, not a huge deal because you just hit the button to turn it back on. One part of construction that I do wish was a little different is that you can't change the mode unless the camera is paused. So if you're in the middle of filming, you can't just reach up and zoom it in. You have to pause it, zoom it, then start it again. And I feel like it'd be, it'd be nice if you could just quickly do it. I'm sure there are reasons within the, the firmware as to why you can't do that, but that's just one thing that I think could be a little bit different. One thing with the construction and durability probably has more to do with where the, the camera is mounted or especially if you have multiple cameras going they do make which is pretty cool is they make a remote control as well and i think it retails for like fifty dollars you can connect it to five different cameras and all you do to do that is you just you have to link them all up but then you hit the button one touch and then it will go ahead and start recording the cameras that are connected all at the same time one other piece of construction that I think could have a bit of an improvement is if it had maybe just like a little small lens cap with like a tiny little tether. I did quite a bit of crawling through grass and the woods and everything this time. And it would have been nice to know that that was gonna be protected and maybe not getting wet or getting smudges on it so you know that your footage is gonna be good. I didn't have any trouble, but it just made me think that it might be nice to have a lens cap on it. I can't speak to long-term durability just because, like I said, we've only had it a few weeks, but so far it's done really well. No problems, no scratches on the lens. Everything's moving really, really well. Now, there are a few other things like construction of the app and stuff like that I talked about that'll be in the tips and tricks video that we won't cover here, but just know that's one aspect that you kind of need to be aware of as well. Overall, we're really happy with the construction of the camera. Mentioned just a couple things that may make it a little better, maybe a lens cap, uh, maybe a little bit more sensitive microphone or maybe a couple of microphones to get more sound and then maybe just a little bit bigger diagrams uh, again so you can see better and tell um, if it's locked or unlocked. But overall, super happy with the construction of this camera and the durability. So because of that, we're going to give the Tacticam 5.0 a 4.25 out of 5. Okay, now on to testimonials and reviews. As always, we just check the different places you can buy this, read the reviews. We try to look at the ones and twos so that you know what negative things people have to say about the product. A couple of things people mentioned was that the cap was hard to get off. We don't, we've already talked about that. It does get easier. You just have to practice and get it loosened up a little bit. Another person said they didn't like that it was a one touch record. I'm not sure why, but I think in the in the heat of the battle as you might say the having the one touch record is, is is really cool a few people mentioned that they did not like the fact that it did not come with mounts uh, you're, you are paying 300 dollars for a camera so and then you also have to buy some mounts they do have some bundles available amazon has some bundles and i put some of those links below and tacticam also has some specials they'll run where you basically end up getting a free mount or a free sd card a couple people mentioned they never could get it connected to wi-fi 
There are a couple things in the phone settings that you, you do have to mess with, and that'll be in the tips and tricks video too. And then another kind of common complaint people had was that the video was really jumpy. And best I can tell, that's more related to the type of micro SD card you buy. You definitely want to make sure that it's a, a U3 rated card so that it will record fast enough to record the video. As always though, for testimonials and reviews, we just give you the score that we found. So the average we found overall, the Tacticam gets a 4.8 out of 5. Okay, now the whole reason you watch this video, should you buy this thing? Now, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know this wouldn't be one of our reviews without saying, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a camera that you can hook up an external mic to, one that you has a viewer where you can see what you're filming, you're gonna carry around and, and film for, you know, graduation or whatever, then this is not gonna be the camera that you wanna buy. Uh, but if you want a camera that's gonna get really good footage that's easy to mount easy to use and really get some good footage of your hunts then this is definitely a camera that you should should consider the retail price on the tacticam 5.0 is uh, right at 300 dollars, which is pretty comparable to most other action cams we really enjoyed having this camera on our hunting trip just being able to download the footage and see what we were able to get and get the footage of the turkeys gobbling back so we really had a good time with it uh, I can definitely see how having multiples of these would be awesome. And if you're just really wanting to get started into getting some footage and have a camera that's super easy to use, this would definitely be the way to go. Price is a factor for me. At $300, that's a lot of money, plus the money for the mount, plus the money for the card. But it is a really cool camera, and it's a lot of fun and a lot easy to use, and it's really fun seeing the footage that you get back. So mainly, only because of the, that cost factor, I'm going to give, should I buy this thing, a 4.4 .4 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our video. While you're here, please subscribe. Please share the video with your friends. If you have a Tacticam 5.0 and have some other tips and questions, please comment below. Give us a thumbs up. And also, while you're here, take a second and follow us on Instagram and Facebook and watch a few other videos and let us know what you think. Thanks again and have a great day.